a monk was talking about service to others in a seminar. Then a person comes up to the monk and says, I don't want to serve other people. I just want to be rich. The monk says, good, then go after the money. You will end up serving others by going after the money anyway. Meaning the only way to make money is to serve others. Just think about the concept. Money is the exchange of value. Let's just say you, right? You wouldn't part with your money unless you're getting something in value in return, right? Like perceived value, whatever you think is valuable, you would pay that to get that service, right? Let's just take it, let's just be crude with it. Let's just say OnlyFans. Now, if you were the type of person that buys OnlyFans, <laughs> you are spending your money to get the perceived value of this person who is likely naked. And that's enough value for you to be spending your money to get that exchange of a nude. Do you see what I mean? Or a video, etc. The same thing can be said for uh, food. You are, let's just say I'm a food company and I've produced a, um, a banging steak restaurant, for example. Now you would go to that steak restaurant, spend your hard earned money to buy my steaks because the perceived value of my steaks, and perhaps I've got, got lots of reviews, perhaps there's a queue around the corner, perhaps it's really close to you, so it's just convenience factor. Perhaps it's not like the worst steak, but it's just like really close to you kind of thing, right? All of this, it doesn't really matter. As long as you see some kind of value in it, you would go there and buy a, rest, a steak from me. And even if it's like, even if it's, even if you never go there again, you thought you were gonna get some value and it was good enough in your eyes for you to spend your money there. And if you had never been to my restaurant before, you were willing to risk it to think like, all right, I'm gonna get some value from this steak because like how, how you can't really fuck up a, a steak that much, right? However, some steak cooks would disagree. Um, that being said, just think about it in that terms. So if you're ever like, because I was, I was that guy, I just, I don't want to think, think about serving people. I just wanted money, just get me. That's probably like a lot of people as well. But until you start thinking about how you're going to put a service out there to give value to other people, you won't get ever get that money. You can, you can put as many like t-shirts with someone's face on it as you like, right? But unless someone is going to pay for that because they see value in having that or it increases their status by having that, they're not going to get it. So you have to think about, all right, if you want to sell a t-shirt now, how do I create a brand? Or how do, I, how do I create some scarcity in the market? Or how do I create some like fake status? But if you wear my t-shirt, people, other people around you can see that and then buy it. Just like Balenciaga or LV and stuff, they have created these brands, right? I think they're fucking garish, by the way. Just a little side tangent. I think they're fucking ugly, these clothes. Like, who the fuck walks around with massive Balenciaga? What the fuck is that? Anyway, <laughs> right over. I like plain shit. I plain. I like nice plain shit. Nice little fit to it. No brands. Like I don't wear any brands really. But okay, what about them? Okay, so all these massive brands. The reason they have these like massive following of people who want to buy their shit is because when they buy their shit with massive Balenciaga or LV tatted across their tops, right? The perceived value from other people, the status that it gives those people who are wearing these tops elevates and that's why they see all right so this t-shirt probably only costs like the lv the balenciaga it probably only costs like 10 quid to make 20 quid to make because they're making it at a massive scale right but they can afford to charge 400 500 quid for it that is because by you buying that t-shirt you let other people know you have money to spend on such frivolous things so you must you know have kind of like value in terms of money in terms of monetary sense so people that see that are like oh he must have money or um may want to you know it increases your status there's so many different ways that your status can increase like stuff like that and what you get from it like people will think oh, okay maybe i need to speak to this person because they must be doing well well in life etc who knows you could be a broke motherfucker and just looking like to impress other people right so this is the perceived value that you're paying your hard-earned money for so that being said now it's time to think for what you can apply this lesson for your life for. If you're putting out a bunch of shit that no one's like wants, then it's an indication that you're not giving enough value to your ideal customer, the avatar that you have in your mind as the person who will, will buy your stuff. So if that's not happening, maybe dial in who your avatar is, dial in your product or your service so you're catering to that person and boom, you've created some value. For example, let's just say, you know people with 
dry skin for example. I'm just looking at like my little Vaseline tub here, right? You know people with dry dry skin. So you now create an ad for people with dry skin and provide a product, a natural based product or whatever, and now you've created something that you can sell directly to that type of person, that specific product at a low cost or a high cost, whatever, put a story around it and boom, now you've created some value that person is more likely to buy. Hope that helps. Just a quick little video and a little analogy to summarize it. But yeah, if without value, you're never going to get any money. So apply that for your life and I'm sure you get more money. All right. I'll see you in the next video.